Hi. So we're here with Tony from Fun Size in Portland. Fun Size is not really in Portland, it's in Austin, but we just happened to meet up in Portland. Then I figured uh, we should talk a little bit about their company and uh, from there. So Tony, tell us about you, Fun Size, what you guys are focused on right now. Well, well I started Fun Size after working at Evernote uh, for a stint where I actually met you. And I, when I started out, I actually my first project or second project was through Scoutsy, and the size of that project helped us grow to a point where it finally just asked my wife if she would quit her, quit her job and join uh, to be able to do this particular contract. So we owe a lot of our uh, uh, those early days to, to Scoutsy. Um, Fun Size is a mobile product design company, and we align ourselves as partners in flexible scope engagements with product companies um, that are concerned with shipping beautiful products. So we do mobile products in every major ecosystem, with probably the exception of BlackBerry, which we really don't do so much anymore. But. Really? I'm shocked. <laughs> so, what do you value most about design? Um, what I value most about design personally is the uh, soothingness that it gives me of being able to tweak a pixel over and over again, organize the file name, get it all perfect. It's more, to me, it's mostly uh, takes care of my OCD tendencies and allows me to feel comfortable with you. Cool. And I've asked you before, uh, what advice would you give to a new starting freelancers, right? Like mistakes they make and something they could really improve on to get out there faster. Sure. I think the uh, one of the biggest mistakes that freelancers make or people that are just starting out is that they're just worth a high hourly rate. But in addition to that, I think people also think that hourly rate is the way to go. So for people that are just starting out, I would encourage them to think a little bit flexibly about the way they work with people. If you can price yourself right, you can win great projects. It's not just about the hourly rate, it's about the long-term um, relationship that you have with your client. Um, and the ability to bring in, bring in more business, and sometimes some of those not really looking at that whole equation can actually hinder your ability to get good products. So don't go after pro products just for the hourly rate. Go after the products that you really want to work with, because everything that you do defines your portfolio. And at the end of the you know a year, you want a portfolio that pushes you in the right direction. I would say that's the number number one thing. The second thing is is the business development aspect of it. If you if you don't have a, a business development minded person in your company or if you're not business development minded, you're going to spend a decent amount of your time doing nothing but whittling down leads, looking at proposals, responding to them, um, which is actually one of the really cool things that Scoutsy offers is that the, the, you know, building the relationships between product companies and, and product designers. Awesome. Great advice. So I guess, you know, follow Tony on Twitter. Anthony, Tony, I prefer Tony. I'm uh, at Mantuan. This guy. At Mantuan. All right. Is that? And uh, check out the fun size, uh, driving some leads, and enjoy. Thanks, man.